Hey guys, welcome to Flying Voice channel. For FTE 1101, there are many valuable features. Today, I will show you how to use repeat mode on FTE 1101. So, what's repeat mode? For repeat mode, you could connect the adapter FTA1101 to your router or AP via wireless connection. The adapter send network to other clients, such as a computer or cell phone. And this adapter could send signal via both Ethernet and Wi-Fi. The first step to start the setting is getting to the web interface of FTA1101. Now please connect your PC to the LAN port of FTA1101. Now we could check the PC's IP address. Just right click on the network icon and go to open network and internet setting. And you will see the Ethernet connection. Just click on properties and go down. You will see IP before addresses 192.168.1.204. And this IP is from the adapter. Then just go to a browser. In the search bar, just type in the adapter's IP address and get into the web interface. Default IP address is 192.168.1.1. And default password and username are both admin in lowercase. When we jump in, just go to wireless setting and go to basic change the wireless connection mode into repeater if you just want to use the LAN port network and do not need the adapter's wi-fi you could check mark hidden and you can hit the wi-fi name and just go down and click on save next there will be a repeater option. Just go to repeater settings. You will see an available Wi-Fi network list. So just choose the Wi-Fi SSID you need. You will choose Cisco New, this one. And go down. Click on connect. Just choose the information about Wi-Fi and type in the password of the Wi-Fi. Make sure the password is correct and click on OK. Then the adapter will connect to the Wi-Fi you choose. Maybe you need wait for a few minutes to apply the settings. When the page is back, please go to Administration and go to Operating Mode and change the operating mode into advanced mode and save and apply okay next go to network and one setting for the connection name just change into new connection and the service just choose other and the one IP mode just choose bridge and bridge type is IP bridge. And here you have to check mark port 1. Next, save and apply. Okay, after saving the one setting, just go to LAN settings. And here in the local DHCP server, just disable. And save and apply. Next, you need to reboot the adapter and all the settings is done. After rebooting the adapter, just disconnect the LAN port and reconnect it. PVC will get IP address from your router's DHCP server. Okay, right now we have just reboot the FTA1101 and reconnect the LAN port connection. We could check the PC's IP address. Just right click on the computer network icon and then go to open network and the internet settings. Okay, go to properties. 
and go down check IPv4 drives. Here is 192.168.20.183. So this IP is from the router. So I think the adapter is working as a, a repeater now. If you want to get into the adapter's web interface again, then you have to set up the PC's IP address as static. And the IPv4 address should be 192.168.1. something like 10 or 100. And the default gateway just set into 192.168.1.1. Then you can use 192.168.1.1 get into the adapter's web interface and change the settings. If you want to learn more, please click the button to subscribe to our channel. We'll update the latest news here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.